just outside of San Antonio, you know, I'm looking again for this damn prunus. And at first, yeah, I got my hopes up. I saw this field from the road, you know, and I thought it was, uh, you know, going to be intact. But it's actually, you can tell it's been disturbed. You got a high propensity of, uh, I think, invasive grasses. You've got, you know, all the disturbant species, the Calpendaisy, Verbicina, and Celioides. It looks just like second growth. Like it was bulldozed at one point and then a bunch of stuff came back. Like all the bird dispersed stuff came back. The hackberry, Diosporos. Oh well. Aloysia, the white brush. That, that thing comes up. That's a disturbance. It's a native, but it thrives in disturbance. Here's that uh, undescribed Rudbeckia that somehow still has not been... It's been grouped as Rudbeckia herta, but it's not. It's very clearly not. This is probably a new species. Well, look at that sick fucking beetle on there. What is that? It's probably an undescribed species that has just been lumped in with herta. Yeah, that beetle. Is that a soldier beetle or what? Somebody, one of the blister beetles. I got a blister beetle on my face once in Chicago. Actually, they, they do cause a blister if you smack them while they're on your face. So you got the KR blue stem, that invasive bullshit, but you've also got, you know, you got some Monarda still. You got uh, sunflowers, the native sunflowers. It's another, you know, recolonizing uh, species that moves in after disturbance. The white brush again, Aloysia. Oh, you, you got some shitty teepee up there. Look at that. Shitty teepee in a, in a brush. We'll have to put that on the wire, you know, make everybody, make every, make it be known. See, and I love the sunflowers, but again, you get them, they like disturbed sites. By disturbed, me, we mean recently bulldozed. Look at all this shit. This is all, this is all recently bulldozed. I'm going to take a herbarium voucher it is, because that, that is probably an undescribed species. Someone needs to get working on that. Not me. I got too much shit to do, but... <clears throat> The hackberries, you know, that's nice. You got a lot of nice stuff here, even though it's not native. No prunus texana, like I was hoping. You, you still got some nice stuff. There's colubrina, which looks like prunus texana sometimes, but it's got those prominent leaf veins. Ramnaceae, buckthorn family. It's still got that cool divaricating zigzag branching, though, creating a little cage for itself. You know, maybe there is prunus texana here. I'm so obsessed with that Texas apricot. Now, I picked like three pounds of seeds distribute it to like 15 different entities hopefully somebody's going to be growing it because again i figure if i do that maybe i'll see it in cultivation in a few years this will all get plowed eventually everything does because that's the cult here in texas unfortunately the land gets so little respect nice nicotiana moth pollinated so it's a nicotine species look how glandular that is you touch touch that then smell your fingers holy shit smells like uh it smells like nicotine Smells like all the terpenes and volatiles. Moth pollinated flowers are wrapping up. They were open last night. Oh, this is cool. You know, at first you see this, you think it's one of those invasive thistles from Europe, but this is actually a native. This is Plectocephalus americanus. It is a thistle, but it's a native, one of the native ones. My thistle, I mean, it's the cardioides subfamily. Look at those, look at those guys all passed out. I always think it, you know, passed out like a drunk in a urinal. Beautiful beetles, though. Look at that. Sunflower family, Astraceae, so you can see those, look at those styles, see those fused anther tubes? Those are anthers that are fused together and inward facing, and then in the middle of it, that little little purple rod pushes the pollen. You can see some white pollen on the tips of those styles poking out of there. That's nice. Only, only one of them, too. Texas, Oklahoma, northern Mexico, maybe you get it. You know, it's generally the center, lower center of uh, the United States. Look at that. You don't have those those dissected thistle leaves. That's a nice one to see. That's nice. That's cool. And the, obviously, the beetles are enjoying it. The cow pen daisy. I like these. They really, I mean, I had to remove the last of them from my yard. But when I was getting my yard set up, before I had time to fully landscape everything, but I know I hate grass. I hate the ideology of the grass. And I hate what the grass, the lawn, rather, represents. The mowed grass, the turf grass. Before I had time to fully plant it up, I just scraped it bare and took some seeds out of here. See, all that blows black things are the seeds. Take them out of the old heads once the flower's done. And I threw some cow pen daisies everywhere and the fucking butterflies left it. They went ape shit. There were butterflies. I had a thicket of this stuff. They're annuals, so they just grow for a few months, then die, and then you gotta, you know, clip them or whatever. You mow it. 
You can even mow it if you want. There you go. You could still be a true American and mow your lawn like a sap. All right. But uh, at least it's benefiting, benefiting pollinators. So it's a cool native. It's a very aggressive native. But uh, they smell pretty good. And they, the butterflies and shit love them. Tons of bees. You know, go sit out there rather than, you know, getting mad about something and threatening to kill someone at your job or whatever. Just go sit out in, a, you know, in your cow pen daisy field and check out what pollinators are coming through. Start documenting them. You know, learn about the buyers for your living, you jackass. See, look at that guy. That's cool. He's pollinating a flower now, but when he was a caterpillar, what was he eating? And more so, what's his connection to the rest of the biosphere? What eats him? What cool birds that will calm your ass down after a lousy day at work will come to your garden to eat this guy or the caterpillar? You know what I mean? That's what you got to think like that. All right? That colubrine is something else, man. Look at that. Look at that nice branching pattern. That is nice. Hog plum, they call it. You can get some fruits germinate them see this it probably has fruits on this they got yeah there, there you go they're not really ready yet you gotta wait till they're uh till they're red but there you go there's a fruit on that get some of that oh the ticks the ticks what about the to shut up shut up you don't deserve you think why don't you just stay inside for the rest of your life what would it ticks hey, check your pants huh there's some places i won't go mostly in the eastern u.s because of the ticks, but get some permethrin, check your pants, stop whining, why don't you just hang out and see, you know what, Junior, why don't you get a glass of milk, go sit down, play video games for the next 90 years of your life, huh, don't go outside ever again, you're worried about ticks, whining about, I haven't gotten any ticks yet, I've been walking through all this stuff, but again, it was probably scraped, you know, a year or two ago, scraping and burning, that'll get rid of the ticks, or you could just pave everything, just, just, Put asphalt on everything, you'll never have to worry about ticks again. You have to worry about some other things, maybe, but at least you'll, you won't have the ticks. Stop whining about ticks.